group of South Enders, they're trying to put Southwest Jefferson County on the map, literally. Yeah, literally. Wave News reporter Sean Bowdy shows us the updated efforts being made to bring tourism to the area. The Southwest Dream Team, a group of advocates for Louisville's South End, is making another effort to showcase what the area has to offer. Before the COVID pandemic, the organization had one way to promote their community. Now they're going to try something else. Back in 2020, the Southwest Dream Team came out with a South Point scenic area map. It's a map with a list of destinations and events that you could explore for the year to come. Obviously, the rest of that year didn't exactly go as planned. This map's a little out of date. They're taking a different approach, though, now. We've got these rack Cards, 100,000 of them that you could find throughout the city. And you can even scan this QR code to help highlight what's happening in Southwest Jefferson County. And now in the world that we live in today in 2023, it makes sense to go to our rat card where there's a QR code to it takes you to a website that stays up to date and you get all the latest information that you're probably going to check for anyway. You would mostly find these cards in places like hotels, gas stations and other places travelers visit. Small business owners in the area are excited. What it's going to do is it's going to attract even more people to the area. Um, there are so many hidden gyms um, in South Louisville and Southwest Jefferson County and this is just going to highlight those to everyone and hopefully draw more people out. They have never been to this area or uh, very infrequently visit us. Melissa Miles owns two businesses along Dixie Highway. Miles tells me out of town visitors aren't the only people who can support local shops. You have uh, a choice of where to shop and where to spend your dollars and Southwest Jefferson County has all of those options available to everyone. You can find the map on the story at wave3.com. In Louisville, Sean Bowdy, Wave News.